going on YouTube out here at uh, South Mountain Reservation getting a good little seven to ten trail miles started wearing the weight vest got the plate carrier this is a 15 pound vest got one and a half liters of water on the back half a liter of drink hoist in the waist belt but we're getting ready for Wild Goose 100 in September. So that's another 100 miler I'll be doing. I just completed about a month and a half ago the uh, three days of the fair, the Sussex Fairground. So I wound up doing the 48 hours and I did my 100 miles. It's actually 101 miles to get my uh, official f finishers buckle, which I earned. Covered a total of 103 miles that evening, or I should say day and a half. Uh, it took me 29 hours, 50 minutes, and quite a challenge. Completely destroyed my feet. It was a uh, 1.1 mile loop uh, paved paved asphalt loop at the fairgrounds and uh, using the same muscles the whole time and just running on asphalt just destroyed my feet I never get blisters I had some insane blisters after that and uh, I've never felt pain in my feet my quads and calves the way that I did at that race you know, in the mountain races, you're constantly changing your position, changing your muscles, going up and down. So you get a little bit of a break, but this was constant, relentless pounding on the legs. But it felt great afterwards. And I think the highlight of it for me, the very best part was I did it with my trail bestie, Renee. And uh, I've known her for a few years. We met through Sasquatch Trail Runners. We uh, met at the my very first race ever, let alone Ultra. It was, uh, oh, I took a wrong turn, gotta go a little farther down. Uh, it was my very first race ever. My very first trail race also. And I left there an Ultra Runner. And uh, we both hit PRs at night, same distance actually as it turns out but we've just been great friends ever since and it's one of the best humans i've ever known in my life and i have so much love and uh respect for her but it was absolutely amazing that we both finished and got our first 100 mile buckles together that evening it, it really meant a lot and uh i filmed her on her very last loop coming across the finish line and she stuck out there and waited for me to do my very last loop. Um, and she filmed that for me. And God, it was a great feeling. So, yeah, getting ready for Wild Goose now. So hopefully we will both be earning our second 100-mile buckle. But uh, right now we got to cross this little guy. It's not too bad. Not like the last time I was here when I completely busted my ass and fell in it. All right, so yeah, so getting ready for Wild Goose. Super excited about that. Uh, last year, things didn't work out quite the way I would have liked them to, but just going back for redemption. And you know what, at the end of the day, sometimes, sometimes we don't get what we want first time, first time go. So sometimes you just gotta put a little more work in, get ready, but uh, it's at Wayway Way Yonda uh, State Park, which is an absolutely gorgeous park. And it's on uh, three different trail systems. So you got the pink, checkered, and the blue. And each one is vastly different from the other one, which is really cool because it breaks it up quite a bit. Um, the scenery and whatnot, so you don't feel like you're on the same thing the whole time. But I'm gonna be doing that in September. And then in October, going back for my second time 
at uh, TPK's chasing rabbits, which I'm really looking forward to as well. That was a lot of fun. Halloween based theme. Ron in October, 12 hours at night from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Can't get better than that. Last year it rained for like most of the night and made it a little more challenging, which was a lot of fun because if you don't already know, I absolutely love running in the rain, especially in the mountains. Something about just being in the wet, the mud, the extra challenge. I love it, it fires me up, but yeah, great things coming. Another big tree down here. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Wouldn't be cool if it fell on you, but big tree. That's a cool little section. Summertime got a lot of a lot of growth. Makes the trails look different than they do in the fall and the winter, so. Alright, run is done. Aim point yeah, 8.7 miles. Feeling it. This shirt is soaked. But uh it always feels good to sweat. So anyway, about to pack it up, head home, and uh get ready for work tomorrow. Hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching.